Hello Troop Relievers, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man, and Marvel's MJ or Michelle Jones. Not Mary Jane, Michelle Jones by Hasbro. Now take a look at the packaging here. You can see there you can see the window that exposes the figure and the accessories and you get the spider webs background here you get the spider-man's name and marvel's mj not to confuse with other mj i really wish hasbro just named her michelle instead of mj because people might think this is mary jane but it's actually M michelle jones and you get the spider-man homecoming logo here on the side here you get an image of Zendaya as MJ or Michelle and you get the Midtown School Mid School Midtown School of Science and Technology logo. You get a um you get Spider Man right there where he was locked down and you get the plane ticket for um Washington D C and you get it you get MJ in, in her PE clothes and she loves D C universe. Now I'm just kidding no she loves Washington D C also on the side, same thing. On the back here, you get the promotional poster from the film. And you get Spider-Man from a promotional picture, I assume. And you get Michelle and her from the actual film. And you get by all about the two-pack. It says, students at the Midtown School of Science and Technology, Peter Parker and Mich Michelle Jones, experience the power of Spider-Man First, first hand when the web slinger must suit up to take down the vulture. Well, well, that didn't happen. Only Spider Man did by himself, but he didn't get help from Michelle. So that's about it for the um the box or the package. Now let's release both Spider Man and M MJ. You know what? Throughout the review, I'm just gonna call her Michelle instead. Out of the package. Here we got. Michelle and Spider-Man out of the package. Now let's start off with women's first. Let's look at Michelle. Now take a look at the head scope here on the figure. Come on, folks. There we go. The likeness to Zendaya. I say they did a good job capturing the likeness to Zendaya. I say they did a good job on her head, on her face. I mean, it looks very well done indeed. Take a look at the outfit here. I don't know if she wore this outfit in the Spider-Man from Far From Home movie. I'm pretty sure she wore it in the um, Spider-Man Far... I mean, not Spider-Man. I'm not sure she wore this outfit in Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm pretty sure she will wear this outfit in Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, the outfit here, you can see some... Now, take a look at the jacket here. You can see some wrinkles on her sleeves. You get the little pockets on her. On her chest area, you get buttons, and you get the um, zippers lines here. And on the back, there's nothing much. You can see some lines here that represents the real fabric on the f on the real life jacket. Underneath the jacket, you can see she is wearing the black shirt here. Uh, you can see the roll up sleeves on her. You get the little sculpted watch. I guess is a watch. I mean, it's silver, so that may must be a watch. And take a look at the pants here. You can see some wrinkles on the pants here. You get a little button on her pants here. You get a little those straps that hang on the belt. And you can see a little fly sculpted in. I'm pretty sure those are pockets are sculpted in. And you can see some pants lines there. Take a look at the boots here. You get a little buckle here and buttons everywhere. And on the bottom, there is some pegos in the bottom. Hey, wait a minute. There's no legal crap. Yay, no legal crap. Unless it's in the... Oh. Oh, no. No. I, oh. Never mind. It does. Yep, it does. <sighs> Man, Hasbro, you gained so better without the legal crap. And here... Oh, there's a serial number. So, no bad looking figure for Michelle. I gotta say, she's a pretty decent looking figure. So there you go, there is Michelle, and here we got Spider-Man. Now, take a look at the figure here. I don't have any Spider-Man Marvel Legends figures 
Well, the Iron Spider-Man does not count. Well, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I mean, take a look at the head scope here. I gotta say, I like how they capture the um, the head scope on here. I say they did a good job. The map capturing the mask here. You get the little web lines there. Underneath the jacket, you can see his um, Spider-Man outfit there. You get the little webs, mold it in. You get the little spider logo here. You cannot see the spider logo in the back because he is wearing the jacket and the hoodie, which is pretty much, if you lift this jacket here, you can see there's a little missy paint mess, missing piece of the jacket here. Take a look at the jacket. You can see some zippers here. And also look at it here. Nothing much. Get a little fabric thingy on the jacket here, the bottom of the jacket. You get the little hoodie there. And you get the look the jacket here, you get a little pockets and those little pockets there. Oh chest pocket here. And you get a little little midtown science. Midtown School of Science and Technology logo here. And you can see the lines, the black lines on the the figure here. Not bad looking. Uh, you could see some webbing molds on the boots there, including the shoes. And on the bottom, there's some legal crap on the on the bottom, and pegos in the bottom of the feet as well. I mean, for overall, this figure is not bad. I say it's a it's a new mold for the figure because of the jacket and everything. Well, the body itself is the same as the Spider-Man from Civil War three pack, the two pack from Iron Man. And also that Spider-Man Homecoming single carded figure that was in the part of the Vulture Wave. I say this Spider-Man is pretty well done. Articulation wise, let's start with Michelle. Her head can go fully rotate and go down this high and go up. Doesn't go up that high because it's hindered by her long hair. Arms go fully rotate, go forward and back, in and out, and at the elbows. Rotate at the elbows, wrist can rotate and go hinge. There's like the chest area rotation, legs can go forward and back, in and out, upper leg rotation, bend at two points at the knee, and her ankles could go pivot forward back, ankle pivot side to side. So that's a great. Posability for the figure, not bad. Now for Spider-Man here, he does have head rotation, same thing, go down and up. But the only bigger difference on this that the arms here can go fully rotate. Again, same thing with Sandia, go in and out. But this one has the upper arm rotation, while the Sandia does not, and does have double joints of elbows. Which is, I really wish Hasbro has done it with the female figures. Again, you get the rotation of the wrist and hinge. And there's some ab crunch while the Michelle does not. There's a waist movement. Legs go forward and back. In and out. Upper leg rotation. Been at two points at the knee. And the ankles can, can go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. I gotta say, it's a not bad articulation for posability, doing like the web sling and everything. Well, I gotta say, this art, the articulation on Spider Man, it, they did a good job on the figure. Now, for accessory wise, for Michelle, she has like a few accessories for starters. She does come with two. A pair of interchangeable hands you get one hand for holding something i'm pretty sure the funko pop shows that she is holding a maze or something or a medieval weapon i don't know probably a maze and the other hand i have no idea probably dramatic pose like put like hold on to spider-man it does have the interchangeable hands oh. very well there we go yeah, MJ doing like the the dramatic hands, or if you don't like that, then you probably just display her with the 
those non-dramatic hands, which is not fine like that. And also for other accessories, she does came with the alternate head. I gotta say, I like the um the smirking. Let's cl close her. There we go. To be honest, I kind of like the smirking look on the on the Michelle figure. I, I mean, we all know in the movie she does smirk sometimes. I mean, she is kind of a an interesting type of teenage girl. Let's take off her head here. And put on here. There we go. Come on. There we go. And there we go. You got Michelle with the with the um with the hair sticking out and ponytail. This is I'm gonna display her like that. This is this is, this is I always know her for, you know, with the smirk on everything. Yeah, I'm gonna display her with the head on. And for other accessories, Spider-Man comes with a pair of unchangeable hands. That's about it. You get the physics hand, you get the flipping hand, as the usual Spider-Man does. I mean, you can either have him both fisted hands or two web sling hands. But I'm going to display him like the flipping hand and the fisted hand. So overall, I got to say... See, I gotta say, now I forgot to show something. For comparison, let's start with MJ. Here she is next to the real MJ. Well, basically, for you older Sam Raimi fans, here we got Mary Jane Watson next to Michelle Jones. Yeah, so which MC, which MC, MJ do you prefer? Her or her? I think it's Kristen. Dudson, I, I don't know what's the actress name and so which one's better Kristen Dudson or I don't know or Zendaya leave your thoughts in the comments down below Now okay now it's on the whoops now I'm gonna wrap up this video so Overall this two-pack It's a nice looking two-pack. I gotta say they did a good job with the two-pack I mean the spider-man figure is exactly the same as the um other Spider-Man figures from that Hasbro has made, but with the um, the jacket and everything. But I know people getting this two pack because of the MJ figure that comes with. But for the MJ figure, it's a not bad looking figure. And I say they did a good job capturing the likeness to to Zendaya. So overall, the sculpts on both figures and the detail, everything, the paint, everything looks really good. Very fantastic figure. So my point for this set, I'm going to give it a solidly 9 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is the... Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming 2 pack of Spider-Man and Michelle Jones figures by Hasbro. And this is JAR369 and goodbye.